Hello. I'm just uh, sitting here, getting ready to go to bed. And uh, oh, look at that faculty <laughs> sitting here next to some uh, various mala and such. I'm sitting here next to. Uh, uh, can you see it? Yeah, I guess you can sort of see it. Unless the radiator on the floor. Yeah, we'll just wait here. I think I'm sitting too close to it and too much shadow for you to see it, but that's where I'm sitting. The heat's not working so well. And today I was uh, working on bleeding on the registers and a bunch of other related little projects. So, uh, last few days have been Thoughts of Dakini and death and uh, poetry of such things. And uh, so that's on my mind. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, we were just sitting over here to have a little meditation. Yeah, if you want to join us, that'll be okay too. How you doing? Yeah. Well, it's very good to see you. Sure. Yeah. Well, we were talking about dakinis. Yeah. And death breaths. Yeah. And, uh, so that was on my mind. Thank you, buddy. So that was on my mind. And, uh, you know, I sat here to have a little meditation before bed. It's also on my mind the radiators and the issues that I've been having with them, the heat in general in the house, and uh, you know, I bleed them, and uh, I guess not unlike leeching, where the idea of bleeding is supposed to be moving something towards optimal health, we think of bleeding as a bad thing, and we share our heart, but when you share your blood, it's unhealthy. I just kind of looked at the radiator and thinking about bleeding and also radiating warmth. And they get bled and of course bleeding can lead to dying, which is already on my mind. I don't have a clear sense of what the meditation is going to be, but I already typed in on this uh, Facebook Live a few words about the meditation. So that was on my mind and so that's what it will become. I was just kind of thinking how the radiator needs to be bled of excess air in order to be healthy. And I was about to meditate and be healthy by bringing conscious air in, full breaths, slow breaths, breaths deeper, and so forth. And so maybe neither one is right for everything. It's just about having a balanced relationship with the breath. The radiator, when it has over much, the uh, fluid doesn't circulate in it, so it's essentially stopped up by air bubbles. And my breath is too shallow or infrequent or unconscious. Yeah, we're going to be done in a minute, okay? Yeah, I can see what you're waiting for. Thank you. And so maybe... It isn't so much that they're opposites, the radiator's health about bleeding air and my health about inviting deeper air in. It's really the same thing. They're both uh, recovering a balance in their relationship to the breath. So that's what I'm going to pay attention to. Just my relationship to my breath and see if that allows me to radiate warmth as I do that. I'm still thinking about the duckinis and the, the sky treaders. Yeah. And uh, you know, death isn't the opposite of life either. It's what 
end of the spectrum. Just like maybe the radiator and the meditator are two ends of the spectrum of relationship to breath. Investing in a moderated, a middle way, a balanced relationship to my breath, and a balanced relationship to existence, samadhi, both death and life. Now, overly preferring one, not fearing one not resisting one and embracing the other and not favoring one having a balanced understanding of two I had just told Saki that we're going to bed and now he's waiting to snuggle so he's seems especially unsettled because I'm not doing what I said sorry buddy just hang out a few more minutes okay you're welcome to join us in the meditation, all right? Okay? So. the radiator